Step two, we're going to take this and we're going to set the tensioner so it's away from the belt so that we can move the belt around until we get it into the correct position. I like to use my handy dandy Harbor Freight or Craftsman screwdriver which has a slight little bend in it. The screwdriver cost me three dollars. I know some of you like to have this super expensive tool but this little handy dandy bent screwdriver works perfect. What I do is I take it and I place it here. I pry back and then I tighten this down. That ensures me that that's completely away from the belt once I put the belt on so that I can put the belt on in the correct position. Now, a lot of times what you're going to find out is there's something that's called the string method. But a string is very flimsy, unlike a dipstick. And your dipstick is in the engine. If you happen to break your timing belt while you're on the freeway, where are you gonna find a string? You're gonna pull one off your shoe? Well, what if you don't have one on your shoe? Just use your dipstick, okay? So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna place your dipstick in between the center of your cam gear bolt and your auxiliary shaft bolt, okay? Now, as you can see, when you place this in between your bolt here, and you place it in between the bolt here on your auxiliary shaft bolt, that mark here should be directly behind the dipstick. If it's directly behind the dipstick, then you have it in the correct position for your camshaft to set your timing. That is step two and setting your timing.